What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here Kitty. are bringing you guys great information, tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, improve, and ignite that relationship to whole new levels, right? Because that's what we want to do. We always want to bring our relationship up to the highest peak we possibly can and enjoy each other. And for you guys or girls out there that aren't in a relationship, don't worry. These things are going to help you guys in your arsenal get a new, improved, successful relationship, hopefully, right, in the future. And you'll have all the information and these tips and tricks in your little bag so you can pull them out when you need them. So today, you know, we want to talk about something that, you know, I think everybody needs to talk about with their partner. Communication is always key and we always bring it up. So why not here too as well? So with this, it's talking about spicing up things in the bedroom. Yeah, you guys forget about that. It's, you know, everything takes work, right? Your, your relationship like that. That is so much gotta, work. This is so, I gotta go out on a date. I gotta make sure I'm listening to her or him. I gotta, you know, be, be good at what I'm doing. Like, this is so much to act, you know, but the bedroom activity, you know, we always wanna connect with our partner mentally, right? Emotionally but physically too as well. And that could be by a kiss or by a hug or by holding hands, but ultimately the bond of coming together, right? Is, is the ultimate true thing that, you know, consummates marriage per se, right? Or consummates the relationship. And it brings you guys really, really close together. Usually that's one of the most ultimate bonding experiences literally, you can possibly have with somebody. You're, you're literally interlocked, yeah. right? <laughs> this, is, this is serious. So at that point, like, you know, once you make that, or it should be a serious thing for you. A lot of people nowadays, it's just, you know, they pick the random person on the street or on mm -hmm. an app, they flip left and flip right, and they say, listen, this is gonna be it. Yikes. But if you decide, and that's okay if you do that. I'm, right. not, I'm not hating on you, it's new day and age, whatever, play on, play up. Whatever you wanna do. But when you, when you get in a relationship, relationship, right? This is when it becomes more physical and more emotional with the physicality that's happening and become more attached to your partner or you should. And um, with that, you know, it's something that you need to constantly do, right? It's not something you do the one time and then, you know, you go 10 years you're like, no, because you know, us here as humans, we are made and wired to, you know, conceive per se, right? Now we don't want to have a whole bunch of babies, but I think everybody enjoys uh, the act of sexual activity. Oh, yeah. I mean, or should. And if you don't, then we should probably address that, right? You know, Absolutely. You know, there should, there, maybe there's other underlying issues, right? Absolutely. And I feel like after, you know, I hear it all the time that, you know, that you're married, right? And let's just say that you guys only hit the bedroom once a month. Yikes. Guys. You guys got it. You got to kick it up a notch, yeah. right? It, I mean, let's, I'll be realistic with you guys, but maybe once a week at minimum, I think would be the minimum because I'm telling you a lot of couples out there, there it's a, it's like a once a month thing. I don't know about or even that. longer. That, I mean, John would not go for that. No way. <laughs> he dude. would not go for that. Come on, so, uh, you know, I'm just saying. And I'm 15 gotta, years in. I know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Don't you gotta, say it's a married thing. I, yeah, that's the most common excuse. That is. Here. It's a married thing. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to get away with no, it. No. And you can still spice it up with lots of things. They, yep. they make many things out there for you guys to spice it yep. up with. It's the new day and age of many cool things. We'll just label it as that. Mm. Or, you yeah. know, put on a little outfit or something, there you know, you sometimes that, that, that'll spice it up. So there's, there's plenty of ways to spice it up and make it, you know, make it nice. And even if you don't spice it up, just get in there yeah. and do the, do yeah. the deed. Yeah. Just do it. You know, like and, Nike. And communicate too. Like, Hey, you know, it's good to ask your partner, Hey, listen, you know, is there anything I can do that will improve the experience for you? Even if you've been together forever, it's always good to communicate about these things. You might learn a bit more or try something new, possibly, hey, that maybe you both like, you never know. Uh, at that point, it's serious, you know? And if you're having erectile dysfunction or sexual dysfunction as a male or female, or libido issues, Type Medical Center can help with that with libido functions. And there might be underlying problems like hormone issues that we could blood test for, you know? But if you say, hey, listen, there's really no problems, we just aren't getting the time, that is your red flag to make time and to make time for you and your partner and make sure it's pleasurable for you and your partner. So you guys are always looking forward to it, right? I mean, like, listen, we like get a little it. Teenage, like, oh, all right, guys, we, we get it. Man. You know, I mean, like, listen, on. we work a lot of hours, right? You can't say you're too busy. I don't want to hear it. I don't, don't want to hear it. You are, you are preaching yeah. to the choir. We got kids, I have zero it. empathy yeah. for you for at sure, all. For sure, hundred percent. Just so you know. 
zero. Hundred percent. Zero empathy. Hundred percent. So we, you know, we got the business, we got the kid, we got the house, we got this, we got that, and guess what? You still got to make time to do it, right? Absolutely. Got literally. It. it. I mean, literally. literally. <laughs> but you have to make time. That is truly a connection. You know, you have to connect with each other physically. Yes. You got to do it, guys. It's important. And I, I really don't think this once a month thing is going to work out for you guys. So if you we're wanna, longer. If I heard you, people go hot once every three months, every six very, months, a couple uh, times a it's year. It's a little like, odd. I, I think, me yeah, personally. You can't do that. Like you, you need to connect, you know, and you know, you need to communicate and you guys need to have fun together. Yep. You know, it's not a chore, yep. you know, to have relations with your partner. That's not a chore and it shouldn't feel like a chore. Like even when I have cramps, I'll tell him like, ah, I have cramps. Yeah. But you can't have cramps every day. Yeah. I mean, you know, but yeah. then your partner should be very understanding yeah. about what's going on and all that jazz. For sure. It goes both ways, For sure. Right? If there's a medical issue, that's one thing. Right. A, a, a serious medical issue. Not, oh, I have a migraine every time. Ah. That don't work. You're I get some excedrin. Yeah. <laughs> Get the Excedrin. I thought you were going to be the other You know, uh, I'm, you know I'm, I'm going through menopause. I'm, I'm dry down there again. So I'm little, I mean, come on. Like, there's things that we can do that, to get Plenty. past some of these things. Plenty of things. So don't make excuses either. Yep. Um, you, you guys got to be responsible for your relationship. And if you want a successful relationship, you have to work at it. It's like any other thing that you want to accomplish. You have to have the work ethic there. And you have to be constantly improving that. Right? Because... Things are changing every day and you have to adapt to some of these different things and you have to grow together and not grow apart. That's the big problem. A lot of people start together and they start growing apart and they grow so far apart that they don't even recognize their partner anymore or they don't care about their partner anymore. What got you to that point, right? If you ask yourself that in one of your past relationships, you've been there and you're like, you know, like we started so hot and heavy and you know, I, I, I just don't know how we even got here. No, you let it go for too long. You, you've let something go too long. Your partner didn't communicate something to you at that point because you guys weren't communicating. And like I said, that goes back to it. But, you know, the sexual activity, you know, or the relationship, the love needs to be shared. That passion needs to be shared between you and her or him and her or however you guys are doing it out there. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I, you know, I, I, love is love, right? And whoever you love, just show them that love and that physicality mentally too as well and emotionally but all three of these things go together like i like to say harmonic balance there is a harmonic balance if you, and, and listen especially if you don't like something they're doing please say it because then you might want to do it more yeah. if they stop doing what you don't like yeah so that's communication right once again you know like right. say you don't want your hair being pulled on because you, you want you want you're going bald i don't know something Give me a headache. Funny. it's giving me a headache so don't pull on her hair anymore. Maybe she'll want to be in the bedroom a lot. Uh, Just say. So I mean, so I mean, even at that, like, you know, random things like that too. Let's say, it's let, random. let's say, like, this is a probably a common issue too that maybe we aren't talking about because everything's perfect peaches and cream. But when you talk about things that maybe you want to do that your partner doesn't like to do, right? Maybe it's pulling their hair and they don't like it gives me a headache you, know, you guys gotta work around something maybe only pull the hair maybe get a time. wig I, I mean pull it off i i, I throw, don't know I throw it across the room i don't know but you know <laughs> maybe some substitutions out there's some things your partner is going to compromise on and there's some things that they're not there's always an answer guys though there's always a way to fix um, it you know to some extent right and you know it's just it is what it is so they have to be comfortable in doing this too and you want to make sure whatever you guys are doing that it's not gonna compromise the relationship. Yeah. And if you think that it has any chance of compromising your relationship, at that point, you should really, really reconsider what it is or maybe compromise on something different, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, just so, meet at the middle. It's, it's all about compromising, but that involves communication. Communication. So, you know, if you wanna improve your sexual life, um, at that point, communication's key, but really getting into that act, touching, um, you know, being Snuggling. physical with the person. I do snuggles. And I enjoy do it right each in other. here. Yeah. It's this armpit. Yeah. See? Yeah. And I go yeah. in the snuggles. Yeah. Like that. And then it leads to See? wonderful things. See? See? That's love. We have a thing. That's love. We have a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so if you're willing or wanting to improve the relationship, I would definitely consider this. Um, I would definitely consider, you know, taking this advice. Uh, and now if you have a great, you know, life in the bedroom, then hey, listen, keep on at what you're doing, but don't let it putter or spit fat out or let that flame, you know, go away. Make sure that your constant flame is going, the heat is rising in all ways, shapes and forms. 
So at that point, guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope this is going to help your relationship or maybe your future relationship. Watch us every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m., DVRS, if not, if you guys can't watch us live. And check out YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and you'll see this show and all the other shows and all the cool content with me, Sharice, and all the Titan crew. So guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys next Sunday on Cupid's Corner. See you then.